Hey, it's May 3rd, that makes it Friday. This is the Roger Williams Media Minute. Congratulations, you made it. Today I wanted to talk with you about making your own videos. So every once in a while people want to know, hey, how did you make that video? It looks pretty cool. So there's a couple of different steps involved. Uh, the first one, of course, is getting a camera going. So I'm using a Canon 60D DSLR with a 50 millimeter lens. Um, uh, it's a pretty good DSLR. There's a decent amount of investment in that. It's about $1,000. Uh, but if you're serious about this, it's not too big of a deal. Uh, you can go with lower end DSLRs, T3Is, T4Is, save some money there. Uh, there's mirrorless cameras. Um, you can even use your iPhone, which I'm doing with a all the clip fisheye lens to kind of get the, the DIY making up. Hey, how you doing? Then you want to start looking at lighting. So I use a couple of different lighting sources for this. I've got my natural light coming out of here. I've got a great big umbrella light here, which uh, adds you know a decent amount of light as you can see. Without that, it's completely dark in here. Uh, I've got a key light going on. I do a little blue fluorescent light here in the background. That's pretty cool. Uh, I've got some other lights set up. So lighting is important because that's basically all you're doing with video and photography is just capturing light. Final piece of the puzzle is the microphone. DSLR cameras have got terrible audio. Uh, you really want to try not to have to rely on that. If you watch some of my earlier videos, that's using the camera's audio feature. Probably doesn't sound so great. Hopefully things are sounding better because now I've got the Zoom H4n. I hope that didn't get too loud for you. And I've got that set up on its own tripod. Uh, it's got stereo speakers, a little bit higher quality. My next step, of course, is to get some sort of a boom shotgun microphone. But, you know, that's, that's spending more money and I'm trying not to freak my wife out too much about all this stuff. Uh, basically then, I shoot everything, I record it, I take it in Final Cut Pro 10, that's what I use, and in there I synchronize the video and the audio together. And then I splice it all up and I've got the little template at the beginning, you see that little blip comes on, you've got the music underneath. I've made that music myself in Ableton Live 8. Um, and then you got the outros and I close it out. I put the email address right there. Comments are down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm working on getting it a little bit better. I'm trying to get the lighting a little bit, I don't know, more professional looking or something. I hope the audio is good. I'm working on getting that a little bit better. And then of course the content. I mean, that's the, uh, the everlasting kind of struggle. But I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know. Other than that, it's Friday. I am already camping somewhere. You're watching this, but I did not record this today, so I'm already camping. But you should go camp, because it's really hot in Phoenix right now. Get out of the heat. We'll talk to you soon. Rock on.